Today we are going to use this little device to open any garage door just by using our smartphone anywhere in the world. It has a really low cost, it's super simple to install and in 10 minutes you'll have the ability to open your garage door from your phone. You can be anywhere in the world and you just need to have your mobile phone and an internet connection. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. This device is called Shelly One Mini Generation 3 and this switch can do a lot, but today we are going to keep things simple and we are just going to automate our garage door and we can automate any garage door as long as it's yours not your neighbors just yours so let's go for it now we will take the Shelly one mini out of the box there's a manual inside which I do suggest you to read but you won't need for this particular project we will need only to connect two wires to feed in the live and neutral and two wires to connect to our garage door. Basically, that is it. We will fit in on the L and N from our grid and then I and O to our garage door. Simple as this, but let's go ahead. A few years ago, I did this project with the first generation of Shelly 1. So in my particular case, I will need to remove the older one. Now, there are multiple ways that we can wire the Shelly 1. In my particular case, I did use a small junction box to take power, which is the live and neutral from any nearby electrical outlet as you can see on the image and then we will need to connect other two wires that I already have on my junction box that will go to the garage door motor but before we start safety first so just go to your electrical breaker and turn it off just to avoid any accidents now in my case I'm extra cautious so even after switching it off I double check with a voltage tester. Now let's take a look at the wiring. Now, in my case, you can see there that I've got that small junction box near the power source where I did get two wires and I just need to connect those two wires to the Shelly one minute here where it says L for live and N for neutral, which is what going to power the Shelly with, in my particular case, 220 volts. Now, I just need to connect two more wires and those two wires will be on the I and O terminal, which is a dry contact. Now these two wires, we just need to put in these screws and screw it well, that is it. And those two wires will make the connection to the garage door. That is it, simple as this. Now each garage door might have a slightly different setup, but if you already have a wall switch for your garage door, then you can connect the Shelly to the same terminals because those are the terminals. In case you don't, you just need to read the garage door manual and you will see which ones you will need to connect. Basically, that is it. Now let's go to the fun part, which is let's turn on the circuit breaker on. Let's open the Shelly app and it will automatically detect Shelly 1 mini generation 3, which is really, really cool. Now connect it to our Wi-Fi network in about one minute or so it's ready to be used. Now we just need to go to settings, input settings and change switch to button and we will select momentary button. Now let's go to set power on default and let's put it on off so that the door doesn't accidentally open after any power outage. Now one last step which is just go a bit above and where it says auto off let's enable it and set it to one second and this will prevent that the virtual button from staying activate it. And that is it. Now we can open and close our garage door from anywhere in the world. If we need to let a delivery driver in, I can do so. If I need to let a cleaning service in, I can do so just with a tap 
on the button of my phone. So for example, if you already have a surveillance system, you will be able to see in real time your door opening and closing. But that's not the only way that I'm able to know if it's opened or closed. In my case, besides the surveillance system, I also have a Shelly door window sensor, which will give me the information if the door is opened or closed. Simple as this. And I also have the notifications on my phone. If the door stays open, I will receive an alarm so that I don't forget my garage door open ever. And the worry is not probably about me, but my kids, if they grab a bike and then just go, sometimes they tend to forget things closed or open in this particular case. And I will receive a notification on my phone. I can just close the door that is it. And this is a project that it's not new to us. We did it about four or five years ago with the Shelly 1 Generation 1. But it makes total sense to update. The Shelly 1 Mini is smaller than the Shelly 1 was. We can use a smaller junction box. We can put inside some motors that we have for the garage door. And for those that didn't follow the channel back then, here's a solution for 2025 to open your garage door at a really low cost and with all the advantages that we have just seen in a couple of minutes. That being said, hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.